Hey guys, listen, I hope you're having a great day. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how to overcome schedule killers. Listen, a lot of times in life and dentistry, we know the right thing to do, and we've watched other businesses doing it, but we've just been afraid to execute it. Well, we're in a great space right now. We have total control over our schedules right now because patients are eager to come and see us. We kind of have a backlog of people who are trying to get in to see us. So now's the time to set that policy you've always wanted to set. We're gonna take a page out of Salon. So I'm on my way to get my hair cut right now and they do it really, really well. So I want you to ask yourself this and ladies, I'm gonna lean on you a little bit here because let's face it, you're more savvy in this world than most of us guys are. But ladies, would you ever miss an appointment going to the salon? No. Why? Because you're never getting back in again, right? So we're gonna take a page out of that book and we're gonna talk about three steps. And the only hard part is holding ourselves accountable. So step number one, I want you to picture that David Rice, yours truly, has an appointment in your practice today. And I don't show up. And maybe there's two of me. And my very booked busy day post-COVID just landslided. So when I do that and I don't show, here's what I want you to do. Two weeks, that's the next available appointment you have for me. I don't care if you have 10 openings tomorrow. The next time you can see David Rice, two weeks. Let's pretend David Rice gets back on that schedule again. You're nice people, we all are, we try to be. So you get me back in the schedule and I don't show up again two months guys and let's pretend that I'm the worst patient in the world and we know we have these right we see their name on the schedule and we can predict who's not coming in third time I get put on a very special list a VIP list in fact one that allows me to call you your practice day of when I have time and then if you have time when I have time I get to come in whether it's for hygiene recare or restorative it doesn't matter two points to really really know one this isn't about punishment so some of you've been in practices or know people who are in practices and they like to charge a patient fee a cancellation fee but be honest don't tell me how it feels because it feels really good to charge people tell me if it works is it changing the openings you have in your schedule for cancellations and no-shows Probably not. If you are, good for you, but I'm gonna say you're the exception. So it's not about punishing patients. Two, this is an internal system. Because it's not about punishing patients, this is for us to know within our team. So when David Rice calls to cancel today, two weeks isn't about you're not coming in. Two weeks is, no matter what the schedule looks like, we're so busy, we can't get you in for two weeks. Nonchalant, piece of pie. Second time, two months is we're even busier we can't get you in third time david it appears that you are so busy in life and we totally get that here's what we'd love to do for you call us the morning of the afternoon of on a good day when you want to come in that day and david we're going to do our best to accommodate you and then gang if your schedule allows go for it get me in and if it doesn't you haven't wasted one more hour two hours three hours on me. So guys, if you want to stop cancellations and no-shows, you have to have a system for success. You have to stay accountable to the system no matter how many openings you have in front of you. That's the hard part. Take a page out of what salons do. Gang, it works. They've been doing it for a long, long time. We can learn from other industries because business is business. People are people. And guys, if you like this, stay tuned.